What's up, people? It's your boy Answer the Boss here, and we are back with the career mode of Madden 13. I know I haven't really done a video in a while. Blame 2K13. I mean, I've been really busy with that. So here's the standing second in the NFC. I mean, in our division, it's been a really tough one. So I don't know. We're only a game behind, but I had a lot of XP. So I decided to go ahead and buy the throw in the run package and also the medium accuracy package. So our performance, you know, it should go up a bit. You know, we should be a little better. You see Christian Ponders is struggling in the depth chart. 73 overall. My overall has been gone up to 84. So we got a game against Chicago Bears. This one should definitely be interesting. All right, so here's our first possession. I'm going to step back. I don't know. I don't really see anybody but Percy Harvin who's been battling injuries this year. So I don't want to target him too much because, you know, he's going to go down here and there. And then Adrian Peterson, nothing on that play. So here's third and 13. I don't know. I decided to fall all the way back to see if anything is going on. I decided to throw it deep on the play here. And that one almost gets intercepted. So we were like, hey, forget the field goal. Let's go for it here on fourth down. Perfect pass to right. And he was able to get the touchdown. And we were able to get the first touchdown of the game. But you simulate into the third quarter. And you see we're struggling. Jennings gets the interception. And with the score already being 16 to 7, he's going to take this one in for the touchdown. So, uh oh. I mean, there's 3.30 remaining. Can we make anything happen here? Look at a perfect pass. Sideline catch right there. All right. So, we got our juices flowing here. My phone is going off. And so is Jerome Simpson. You see him making another catch right here. And he stays in bounds and goes in for the touchdown. So, I'm like, all right, you know, we're going to make this comeback right here. We decided to go for a two right here. I'm going to step back and I noticed the X button. Simpson, why not? The guy that scored a touchdown is going to come back and get the two-point conversion. But the Chicago Bears did respond. It's 29-15. to 15. We still have a minute 52 remaining, so why not? Let's get another drive going here. Simpson with the completion. Then I'm going to step back right here. Okay, I noticed that Simpson, he's on fire. So why not feed him the ball? When the baby's hungry, you got to feed him milk, right? So why not feed Jerome Simpson the ball? He gets us another touchdown, so it's still a 10-point ball game. You see Chicago, they got a field goal, so all we can do right now is march back. The defense is not, you know, stepping up for us, so why not? Let's march back and put on more points. We got two minutes remaining in the game. Here's Aro Machado. He gets another touchdown for us, and just like that, we cut it to a field goal. So we get the ball back with a minute remaining. You know, sometimes you want to settle for a field goal, but us, we're going to try to deep bomb this one for a touchdown and that is exactly what we did i mean it's clutch it is clutch we were down by a lot and we came up at the end with the victory so that was it now following week number 14 we got the rams here in week number 15 so let's see what's gonna happen and everybody is set for this matchup between the minnesota vikings and the st louis rams here at the edward jones dome Hello friends, Jim Nance along with Phil Sims getting set for this unique matchup as today we have a game that really is as important about staying healthy as it is winning the game. How will that factor into this matchup? Oh, it's a big factor, Jim. You know, you talk about health in the NFL. We're talking about a contact sport where you just can't control situations. And I'll say this, there is no formula. Oh, rest your players, get them ready. We're going up against Sam Bradford, but hey, I'm not intimidated because I'm going to go out and do what I did in week number 14. So a completion there to my tight end is going to get me a little confidence. And now the guy who came up big in the last game is going to come big in this one as well. Jerome Simpson gets the first touchdown of the game. So it's 7-3. to three. Here's three minutes remaining. Carlson now. That one was a little lucky because the defender almost got the interception. But with a good accuracy right there, it was right in his hand. So a touchdown right there. Then Jerome Simpson. I mean, he's been on fire in these last few games. Gets a huge completion. And I'm going to step back. You know, try to get a couple of safe plays going here. Second and three. I'm going to step back. Another short pass to Simon Carlson. More importantly, we get the first down on the play. Here I am almost getting sacked on a play. And that ball was almost intercepted so why not let's go ahead and settle for a field goal we're gonna go up by four points and we're gonna get the ball back with the rams already up by a three-point field goal so you see the rams they got a touchdown in last possession we are going for it here on fourth down you see carlson 
Or should I say Rudolph, Carlson's partner. I don't know how he was left wide open on that play. But we go up by four points right now. So we get the ball back. It's a four-point game. This is a crucial possession because with this possession right here, we're going to kill the clock and make sure the Rams don't get their ball back. So they have three timeouts remaining. But it's these types of plays that's just going to ruin a game for the opposing team. A huge completion by Jerome Simpson. And then there is Adrian Peterson. He's going to tackle this one in for a touchdown and that pretty much breaks all the hopes for Sam Bradford and the St. Louis Rams so back to back games week number 14 and 15 we come up big so I'll see you guys in the next episode where we will wrap up the regular season games it's a wonderful time